The Safety Synthesis Catheter Drainage System is designed to help reduce the risks associated with percutaneous needle placement, while also helping to enhance patient comfort during thoracentesis and paracentesis procedures. Safety Synthesis offers a unique combination of features not found in any other device on the market. The locking blunt obturator of the Vares needle extends over the sharp needle tip, providing protection against accidental needle stick injuries and preventing shearing of the catheter during device assembly. The visual color indicator transitions from a safe white to a caution red to confirm anatomical contact and verify placement of the sharp needle tip. A self-sealing valve maintains a closed system and provides protection from fluid leakage and minimizes the risk of a pneumothorax. The resealing membrane of the valve allows reintroduction of the introducer needle if catheter repositioning is desired. The pigtail catheter is silicone coated for smooth insertion and reduced tissue trauma. Centimeter depth markings on the catheter shaft help achieve accurate catheter placement. Four strategically placed drainage holes on the inner pigtail help prevent occlusions. For procedural flexibility, the Safety Synthesis catheter is available in both a 6 and 8 French size. The remote stopcock allows easy connection to drainage sets and helps minimize inadvertent device or catheter movement. Please be sure to review the instructions for use prior to using the device. The Safety Synthesis device is delivered disassembled and consists of a catheter drainage assembly and safety introducer needle. Once the location of the effusion has been identified, prep, drape, and anesthetize the patient. Start assembly of the safety synthesis device by removing both pieces of the protective sheath from the introducer needle. Gently load the introducer needle into the proximal end of the catheter drainage assembly. Ensure a complete engagement of the threaded valve hub and introducer needle hub to unlock the blunt obturator. Verify the sharp portion of the introducer needle is extended beyond the catheter tip. Confirm the safety synthesis device is assembled properly by testing it on a sterile field. Gently exert downward pressure on the tip of the introducer needle. The color change indicator should transition from safe white to caution red indicating that the blunt obturator is unlocked and can move freely. Use a scalpel to make a skin nick prior to inserting the safety synthesis device. To avoid inadvertent catheter movement or uncoupling of the assembled device, grip the introducer needle assembly firmly in a pistol grip while supporting the tip of the catheter at the site of insertion with the other hand. Introduce the safety synthesis device into the chest wall for thoracentesis or abdominal cavity for paracentesis. When anatomical contact is made, the blunt obturator will automatically retract and the sharp needle tip will be exposed. The visual color indicator will confirm anatomical contact by transitioning from a safe white to a caution red. Advance the safety synthesis device into the desired cavity. Centimeter depth markings on the catheter shaft can help confirm accurate placement. As the needle tip enters the free cavity, the color change indicator should transition back from caution red to safe white. Use the pre-attached syringe to aspirate fluid and confirm positive placement. Ensure the stopcock control arm is turned off to the pigtail catheter and advance the catheter drainage assembly off the introducer needle and into the effusion. If repositioning is desired, remove the catheter from the patient, reassemble, and reintroduce the device using the previous instructions. Upon completion of the drainage procedure, remove the catheter quickly from the patient to avoid entry of air and protect the puncture site with a bandage. Thank you for your interest in the Safety Synthesis product line. Please contact your BD sales representative for more information.